Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman. I am your GPR professor from LearnGPR.com and giving you today a video about why hyperbola are different sizes in your GPR profiles. <clears throat> okay, why are hyperbola different sizes in your GPR profiles? I want you to think about it for a second. I want you to pause the video for just five seconds, go into the comments and type in why you think Hyperbolas are different sizes. A lot of people I speak to certainly have one. Maybe some of them have two ideas why. I'm going to go ahead and give you four different ideas right now, uh, four different reasons why your hyperbola might vary in size uh, um, you know, in your GPR data. Okay, so number one, which is certainly the most probably common or, or, or easiest to understand, is that your targets differ in size. Okay, your targets differ in size. So what do we mean? Well, if you have a tree root, maybe it's this size, okay, right? Or if you have a pipe that's this size, a smaller hyperbola will be produced on this than on this, right? Smaller on the tree root than on a pipe that's this size. So Pure size of the target at the same, you know, that everything being the same, size of the target will affect or in part determine the size of the hyperbola. Okay? Size of the target determines in part the size of the hyperbola. So that's number one. And that's what most people know, okay? So number two, right, number two is um, orientation. Orientation. I was never the winner of the spelling bee in fourth grade, by the way. Okay, Mr. Anderson, I apologize, I never won a spelling bee. But orientation uh, um, <coughs> of data collection. Okay? Orientation of data collection is the second reason why hyperbola will vary in size. This is for the same exact target. So for example, um, you have a pipe. So I'll grab another color for some contrast. All right, you have a pipe. Okay, and this is now, now you're looking at it right top down. Okay, top down. This is a buried pipe going this direction. Right? Okay, that's your pipe. Well, you're going to have a different response if you hit the pipe at right, 90 degrees, if you hit it at 45 degrees, or if you hit it at 180 degrees right on it. Right, so what's it going to look like here? If you hit it 90 degrees, you're going to have the most narrow response that you're going to get. 90 degrees, right? So 90 degrees. If you hit it at 45 degrees, or anything that's less than 90, then um, you'll have a wider hyperbola. Okay, you're going to have a wide, same exact, but you're hitting more surface area, right? So from here to here is more surface area, right, than here to here, right? So that's less surface area. So less than 90 degrees produces wider, and obviously the wider that you go the more surface area there is. And so it'll continue to broaden out and get larger as you hit it on an angle that's smaller and smaller. Now, if you hit it basically on zero degrees, right? So zero degrees, uh, as you're right on top of it, you're not even gonna get a hyperbola, you're just gonna get, in a sense, a flat line, which will look like a geological interface or some sort of construction interface, um, uh, uh, you know, some sort of layer. So that's what you get at zero degrees. So th that's where your hyperbola is so fat it's not even a hyperbola anymore, right? It's so broad. But this is reason number two, is orientation of data collection. You hit it 90 degrees, it'll be the most narrow, right? The most narrow that you're gonna get. You hit it at something else, another, another degree, uh, it'll, get, it'll get broader. Okay, so that's number two, orientation of data collection. And, uh, and obviously, if you're going to do some sort of hyperbola fit, then you're going to want to do it at 90 degrees. And if you don't know what hyperbola fit is, then check our other videos 
uh, to get some, some information on that or join us at MLGPR.com for one of our, our training programs. So number one, targets different size, orientation of data collection is number two. The third reason that hyperbola sizes vary is target depth, okay, target depth. So the same exact size target in the same exact material that's at different depths will have different responses. The hyperbola will be larger, deeper, and it'll be smaller when it's more shallow. And so why is that the case? Right, so larger, deeper. Okay. Uh, so let's say you have a profile here, right? Same exact size target, same material. Uh, right, you get one here and one down here. And let's say that these are the same, okay? I know my drawings might not be perfect, but these are the same. This is the, right, the ground surface, okay? That's ground surface. This one here will produce a smaller hyperbola than this one here. Okay, same exact size, different responses. Why? Well, your GPR, right, so let's say that this is your GPR. Go ahead and give you a little bit of color in your life, okay? A little color in your life. So this is your GPR. As your GPR signal comes out, right, it spreads as it's coming out of your uh, uh, antenna. The deeper it goes, the more it spreads, right? The deeper it goes, the more that signal spreads, okay? Continues to spread out. So what that means is, this is going to see this one well before it's actually on top of it. Because the spread is so great. Where here, the spread is not that large yet. And so it's going to be closer to it before the radar actually detects the target. So it'll create a smaller hyperbola for the same size target at a shallower depth and a larger hyperbola at a greater depth. Okay, so right, so so greater depth, okay, greater depth equals larger hyperbola. All right, got that greater depth equals larger hyperbola, and that would be this this guy right here. So that's reason number three. And you're probably saying to yourself, oh my gosh, Dan, how can there possibly be even another reason? How can there be another reason? Well, there is another reason that your hyperbola sizes vary. All right. And here's what it is. Okay, so reason number four. All right. Fix that up. Reason number four is... Differences in physical properties of materials. And really what we're saying is differences in relative dielectric permittivity. And then really what we're saying is differences in wave velocities okay so that's really ultimately that's what we mean is differences in wave velocities that will create different hyperbola sizes for the same exact target same exact size same exact shape but and same exact depth but buried into different conditions will give you different sizes so let's say and again i hope you can see this still right this is your Profile. Uh, let's say it's two different profiles, right? You get one here and one here, right? So two different profiles. And this one we're going to say is clay, right? So we're going to use red. And we're going to use red because from where I'm from, clay is red. It may not be that way where you're from, but we'll say that that's red. And then this one we'll say is sand, okay? I'll use an orangey, it's an orangey sand, okay? An orangey sand. Well, you should know that the wave is slower here, slower in clay, 
and faster in sand. Okay? Clay, sand. So the same exact target. Buried at the same exact depth. Okay? Same exact size. Is going to be more narrow in clay. And it's going to be broader in sand. Okay? Broader in sand. The reason is, as the wave moves slower, it's taking longer, right? As you're over here, and the wave is coming out spreading, right? Here's your antenna. And it's coming out spreading. It takes a longer time to bounce off this and come back. So by the time it actually sees it, right, it's going to be further down. Whereas over here, your antenna hits, right, it spreads out, okay, comes back faster. It's going to see it earlier, okay, and potentially further away because it's moving faster. So you're going to get a broader hyperbola for the same exact target in sand than you would in clay. So that's reason number four. So to review... Okay, to review, four reasons why your hyperbola are different sizes. Number one, the targets are different sizes themselves. The actual targets are different sizes. Number two, is your orientation of data acquisition, which means if you have a pipe, for example, uh, and you hit your pipe on a 90 degree angle, it's going to create a different size hyperbola than if you hit the same exact pipe on a 45 degree angle because you're hitting more surface area and, uh, uh, and it's going to create a broader hyperbola. Number three, the target's depth. The same target buried in the same material, but at different depths, right, same size, buried at different depth, is going to give you different hyperbola sizes. If you're more shallow, will be more narrow. Deeper will be more broad or broader. Four, differences in physical properties of material. So differences in wave velocities. Slow wave velocities will produce more narrow signatures, right? More narrow hyperbola, sm smaller, I guess we would say. Uh, and faster moving waves will produce larger or broader hyperbola for the same exact target at the same exact size, buried at the same exact depth, two different sizes hyperbola. So let me know in the comments below, you know, if you, uh, uh, how many of these you actually knew, okay, before this video. Um, you know, and, and uh, tell me if there's any one of these things that you had not ever heard of before. And if you have any questions about this, put your comments below. We respond to every single comment that you all give. I appreciate the support as always. If this was valuable, share it around. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate, you know, your support. Um, and if you haven't done so yet, go over to learngpr.com, pop in your name and email address, and we will send you these videos every single week. Good luck to you. I wish you nothing but the best.